some vending machine experts from quick play if you don't follow them on youtube yo hello everyone my name is cody the guy you see on screen is eli and today we're going to talk about if you should start your own vending machine business we believe that everyone who can afford a candy machine should seriously consider to get into the business and i'll get into why as we collect from our vending machines but uh, let's go ahead and fill this up with gumballs because it is really low and guys uh, if I've said it once I've said it a thousand times these nerd gumballs do very very well and you know what I'm willing to say that most gourmet gumballs will just outperform the generic gumballs you find in Sam's Club but let's go ahead and open this back up and see how she did and all right, that is a nice pull, guys. We are looking at $24.50, and that's in two weeks. Not great, but we'll take it. And, uh, and guys, kind of what I was saying before with the gourmet gumballs, there's actually specialty gumballs, and I'm sure a lot of you know this is kind of obvious, but there's a bunch of different flavor gumballs out there, and they just do so much better than the Sam's Club gumballs that you can find or if you're at costco they sell them there too um it's totally worth the upcharge it's it's not much at all uh, i highly recommend you look into it and implement it into your machines but here we are this is a o'reilly's or maybe like a AutoZone. i can't remember it's one of those uh one of those retail car mechanic shops but we'll, we'll go ahead and turn the machine around let's see how she did and it did pretty all right so whenever we landed this spot we were we had the assumption that this was going to be at the front of the store like right as soon as you walked in so it was kind of a letdown for us but not too bad at all the automotive parts store did 825 in two weeks not great again but you know we'll take it and uh let's go ahead and move on this is a car detailing business nice place nice machine it begs the question should you start your own vending machine business and guys to that i say absolutely yes and you know i guess i am a little biased um but this this guys it works and uh i have all the proof of concept you need we have 40 videos of us pulling money from these machines making a living off of it let's go ahead and open this and see how she did very nice we're looking at 1550 and that's in one week guys on the surface that looks like it's not very much but keep in mind you know let's just look at it 1550 in one week averaging 50 to 60 monthly that's gross now that's 40 dollars a month net okay so the machine costs 148 dollars new so that's an estimate payoff of three to four months that's not bad guys after that it's pure profit for you know as long as the uh foreseeable future there's a lot of potential here and uh and i say jump on it you know if you if you have that gut feeling that that you like this sort of business and uh you can see yourself doing this kind of thing then i say just jump in head first and just go for it but here we are at walmart let's go ahead and walk inside and for some reason it was pulled out to the uh, to the center of the of the uh, pathway i guess you could call it but uh there was a jam in the uh in the mech there as you can see but oh my god look at that that is absolutely insane look how thick it is there's just quarters climbing on quarters it's complete madness guys we're looking at 5350 in two weeks that is absolutely amazing um guys so let's just take a look at these numbers again 
Okay, so we got 5350 in two weeks, averaging 80 to $100 a month gross. $60 of that is net, and the machine costs $75 new. That's an estimated payoff of one to two months, guys. And these kind of locations exist. It doesn't have to specifically be a Walmart. You can pull this kind of money from mom and pop restaurants and all kinds of crazy places that you would never think that you could. So just keep that in mind and you know keep your chin up because these places are out there and they're just waiting for you. Guys, and I told you that the machine had that jam. So we went ahead, went back and got a new machine to replace it with. This one needed to be uh, just serviced and uh, t all the candy taken out and cleaned. And we will put that on a new location. And this one is just ready to go, looking fresh, looking sharp. Let's go ahead and move on to our next spot. This is a car detailing uh, shop. It's also a uh, car washing uh, place. So Eli's gonna go ahead and clean up that chrome and we're gonna get some candy in this machine because it's looking a little bare so we got Reese's pieces uh, peanut M&Ms and Skittles uh, per usual so let's go ahead and fill these empty guys up and uh, we'll see how she did now guys there are some downsides you know not every spot is going to be gangbusters so you need to make executive decisions if it's worth spending a hundred dollars on a machine or whatever you know you're going to spend to put a machine in a business a lot of business owners like to claim that it's going to do so wonderful here and there's kids everywhere and they're going to be spending all this money now just scope the place out and make your best educated Kess if it's gonna do well so let's go ahead and spin this around and see how she did we'll also uh, pull up these stats here and wow yeah it did very very nice uh, that's $19 in one week that's very very nice let's go ahead and scoop that in and take a look at these stats on this beautiful rhino so guys we are looking at 19 dollars in one week averaging 80 to 90 dollars monthly gross 60 dollars of that is net the machine costs 75 dollars new and the estimated payoff is one to two months guys we've had this spot paid off for a long time and i mean we haven't been really uh doing this for a long time but it's just it just did so well but uh here we are in a bar and this spot looks like it does not need any candy at all looks like it's ready to go let's go ahead and spin it around see how she did all right grab those keys open her up open sesame and there we go we got 10 25 in three weeks that's not great but we're gonna keep it this is a known spot around town it's kind of a cool spot to uh let people know that that you have and like oh you know i go there a lot and you know i get drinks there all the time and it's just one of those conversation starters but let's go ahead and look at the uh stats all right folks we are looking at 1025 in three weeks averaging 15 to 30 dollars a month gross and ten dollars a month net machine costs 75 dollars new an estimated payoff time six to seven months and guys ten dollars a month may not seem like a lot and you know it's not really but it's nice to have a threshold that you have a personal threshold that you pull your machine if it doesn't make that certain amount so ours is somewhere between 10 and 15 depending on what the place is but here we are at a tattoo parlor this is a really cool place they got their art all over the walls i'm i, I haven't really been in a lot of uh tattoo parlors but uh this one is really nice got couch and and all that stuff that uh to keep you comfortable but let's go ahead and fill these skittles up they are very low and we will shut this top and get to the good stuff around back let's go ahead and open the door oh it needs to be tightened up that's something to watch out for too these things can get a little loose and uh, you just need to spin it around a little bit and you will be good to go and guys we are looking at 38 75 in three weeks pretty nice pretty nice not gonna complain uh, let's go ahead and look at the stats 
all right guys let's take a look see we got 3875 in three weeks that's averaging 40 to 50 dollars a month gross and 30 dollars a month net now the machine costs 75 dollars and the estimated payoff is two to four months which is pretty good you know another thing i didn't mention is that this is very easily done while you still have a day job guys so th these things are just all around your town making money all day you're at work doing your thing and you're just making extra money on the side so it's just really a win-win you can keep your job or you know you can just go hard and you know just work towards that uh that you know working for yourself and being your own boss if that's what you want to do now today's video is a little different um, I think the point is pretty moot to walk you guys through exactly how much these all made uh, individually because I showed you them all. Do you guys want to keep it all unknown till the very end of the video or do you like uh, me showing you guys how much it made as soon as we open it up and show you guys all the cash that's inside? So do you want to keep uh, the prices to the end of the video or right when it's, uh, right when it's happening? uh as you're watching it uh you know i want to hear you guys's opinion in the comment section below but we have a total coming up for you guys and it looks pretty good all right looking pretty sharp so far look at the uh tub behind it already looking pretty good that's the tattoo parlor right there and a grand total of 199.50 guys nearly 200 dollars for about an hour and a half of work easy stuff be sure to check our uh podcast out with rays the entrepreneur for some free 99 knowledge in our live stream guys join us there it's so much fun sunday afternoon we'll see you there goodbye